So basically, uh, set up your, before you go into setting up your uh, six position uh, switch, or sorry, uh, switches for six flight modes, if you're using APM and uh, OR and or uh, Pixel, you need to utilize uh, at least two switches in order to achieve uh, six flight modes. So set up your plane uh, with the normal controls, one to four uh, channels. And uh, I think by default, APM or Pixel uses uh, channel five for its flight modes. Uh, I did change mine, so I, I, I'm using um, channel six. That could easily be changed in, uh, in the mission planner. So the first thing you need to do on your uh, radio is uh, if you go to the menu and go, I will show you uh, the first step is to go to the mixer page. page. This can also be done, actually I did this, it's much easier if you uh, plug your uh, Tyrannus uh, radio to your computer and download the uh, uh, OpenTX companion. It is a lot easier setting all this up. If you notice, there's a lot of values here. But uh, as I said, I'm using channel six. So the values that I used here are all on uh, the flighttest.com uh, site. And uh, these numbers like minus 41, uh, 16, were uh, put in there for a specific reason. This is to control the PWM uh, signal. Sorry, the PPM signal that goes into the Pixel in order to uh, match the, the flight modes or at least within the range of the flight modes available uh, in the APM or uh, Pixel uh, flight controller. So these are basically uh, channel six. You set this up. I'm not going to go through, uh, uh, through this, but if you are familiar with your Tyrannus, you'll, you know, you could easily set this up uh, using, uh, you know, these buttons here. But I strongly suggest that uh, you use OpenTX Companion. It's it, it's a lot easier. So if you know it's minus 41, minus 16, 10, 35, 100. So once you have this all set up, the next area our next configuration area where you need to uh, set up the actual switches is uh, here logical switches so uh, L1 uh, basically uses these values let me just go there so I'm using SF which is the switch at the bottom left hand corner of the transmitter to and then it combining it with SC which is up here in order to get the six uh, flight modes uh, in the pixel so there's really nothing much here but one of the key things that uh, I read online is this delay this is really important this delay over here, if you notice, is 0 0.02. So I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not gonna explain the reason, but it's a very self-explanatory. Set up your switches, which is SF in my case, and then I'm combining it with SC, which is up here on the top. And uh, that will give me uh, access to switch uh, within six flight modes. There's also a lot of guides online to do this on a multi-rotor. I'm doing this on a fixed ring. Actually, specifically, I'm doing this for, for my mini talent. So, and uh, it took me a while to figure it out, but uh, it's a bit overwhelming at first, but I would suggest if you are more comfortable with a computer, uh, you know, download the OpenTX Companion, it's available 
uh, to, on Windows and Mac. So yeah, try it out. So after you set this all up, if you notice here, I'm just gonna go through each of the, uh, the switches. So logical switch one basically tells that if SF switch, let me zoom out a bit. What this tells us is that when switch F is up or at this position and SC is at this position, uh, it will send a, you know, a signal, PPM signal on a specific range, which will, you know, the Pixel will interpret and map it to a certain flight mode. That's how I understood it.